Hi there guys, it's Rick Graham here and uh, thanks for checking out this video. I just want to share something with you that I'm really, really proud of. It's been brilliant working with the guys at Charvel, with guys like Mike and all the other good people at Charvel to create what is the first incarnation of um, my signature guitar, the Rick Graham signature Charvel. And I have to say I'm very, very proud of it. So what I'm going to be doing is just talking you through some of the specifics about the guitar. Um, you know, to start off with, I, I kind of wanted to keep things as simple as possible without overcomplicating things, because that's, you know, a reflection of who I am. I'm a very simple individual. <laughs> and you can, you know, take that as you will. But uh, uh, I like to keep things as simple as possible. So nothing, you know, overly complex, as long as it functions well and sounds good and feels great to play. Those are the, those are the elements that I generally look for. And, uh, you know, I'm so happy with this guitar. And, you know, since I got this particular guitar, I haven't been able to put it down. I just want to keep playing it. And, uh, you know, that's a good sign. So what I'm going to do is just talk to you about some of the specifics, some of the things that I've changed, uh, some of the things that are unique to me uh, in terms of my playing and my requirements. Um, so I want to start off with, let's start off with a neck. Why don't we start off with a neck? Um, so it's a caramelized neck, which is absolutely beautiful to look at. There's a number of different things with the caramelized neck. The, the most important thing is the aesthetic to me, because with the aesthetic, it gives me a much, much better sort of mindset to play better, you know? So once that's in place, the other issues like the, the satin neck, you, you know, it's just absolutely stunning to look at, but it's just so great to play. So um, it's not just about the aesthetic, that, that's, that's the starting point, and then everything else, you know, comes from there. Uh, so um, it's, it's just a wonderful neck to play. Uh, the radius on this neck is 12 to 16, which really works with my playing style, because I, I tend to uh, play chordal stuff, you know, um, lower down on the fretboard, but when I want to, you know, tear things up, you know, doing scalar stuff and solo stuff, uh, it becomes a lot easier as you, you know, progress higher up on the fretboard. So that works beautifully for me. Okay, so um, frets, we have jumbo frets, and I've opted for stainless steel frets, which means if you hammer the guitar away as much as I do, then you don't have to change the frets as often as other, other materials. So that's why I opted for, for jumbo stainless steel frets. Um, so heading this direction, we have Goto uh, locking tuners and uh, they, they do the job exceptionally well. So let's move in the opposite direction. Let's concentrate on the body now. I opted for bass wood um, purely because for one, there's a number of different reasons. For one, I, I like the, the, the extra sort of treble that it gives uh, in comparison with other woods. And uh, it's, it's a beautifully light instrument to, to, to handle as well, which is really, really important when you're playing live. Um, so that's generally why I opted for it, not just tonally, but just, um, you, know, um, you know, the weight generally. Uh, color, color, very, very important this. This is very unique and it's called Celeste. And I think it pops beautifully, especially with the white hardware. Uh, as well as the chrome, of course, um, but uh, it's absolutely stunning. Really, really, really impressed with this color. Um, it's just beautiful to look at. So yeah, um, gloss finish as well. So let's talk, let's move on, let's talk about the pickups. Um, so uh, these are custom Rick Graham uh, um, bare knuckle pickups uh, i've worked with tim and the guys from bare knuckle for a while over the years and it just seemed like the the, the logical choice for me to move forward with with a signature uh, signature guitar and have those guys you know create the, the pickups that really sound right for me and they've done such a stellar job on it because uh, these pickups they they really capture the the sort of vintage sound uh, especially at lower volumes, you know. So if you're, uh, if you just roll the volume off, it cl they clean up beautifully. So I'm on the bridge pickup here at the moment. If you want to take it, you know, further. And then 
all the way. Killer, absolutely killer. So you've got the, you know, the balance between vintage uh, sounding pickups, but you know, when you want to turn up the heat, turn up the heat, man, it's on tap, you can do it. Uh, and generally I, I control everything with the, the guitar volume knob and uh, you know it works works really really well so in terms of the pickup um, the way that they split so position one this is a five-way position um, switch blade switch uh, so position one bridge pickup position two we've got the inner and middle um, position three we got the outer humbucker and the neck pickup together position four we got the middle and the neck together and then position five which is my absolute favorite, by the way, the neck pickup. Um, I spend most of my time on the neck pickup and it's just great. So that's, that's the way the, uh, everything splits. And you've, you know, you've got li lots of different options there in terms of your sound. So that's full on uh, bridge pickup. So position two. You can hear that spankiness there. Middle. Position four. <laughs> and then my favorite. Changed it at the end there, but uh, anyway. So those are the uh, the pickups on this rather glorious guitar. Um, the other thing that I I omitted to mention here is uh, I asked them to just cut away just a little bit more on this lower horn here to give me you know better you know higher fret access, and it's just beautiful. You know, there's no impedance there whatsoever, and uh, you know it's really really comfortable uh, to play in the higher register. So so yeah. Um, so, talking a little bit further about hardware, uh, we've got a recessed trim here, the Goto 510, which is just fantastic, very, very stable. Um, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's fantastic. I uh, have to be honest, I generally don't use the trim that much, but uh, I have put it through, uh, you know, some rigorous tests, and it holds up very well. That's, that's all I will say. So, um, what else can we talk about? I think that pretty much covers uh, the majority of, of this guitar. So there are those subtle elements that, that I've changed that are very unique and personal to me that I think make a huge, huge difference in terms of the overall playability, the overall sound. And uh, this guitar inspires me to just want to sit and play. And I, I'm happy as hell. So uh, I hope that has explained it uh, in uh, as clear a way as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to do some playing, man. So cheers, guys.